Now it's a really important time to be studying global health. All of the problems that we generally associate with global health, disease crossing borders, issues of outbreaks, are just as important today. However, there's new sets of problems such as antimicrobial resistance, climate change, the health of migrants, mass internally displaced populations that really raise a new set of questions about how to govern global health, what is the scale and the time frames in which these problems are going to be answered. For that, we need a new set of interdisciplinary tools, questions and approaches, and critically, a moral vocabulary to answer these questions that are most pressing today. We think through the issues of global health, not merely beginning from a space of medical expertise, but from philosophy, bioethics, sociology, anthropology, demography, gerontology. Our students have gone on to do independent research on the implementation of mental health policy in Kenya, on the UN policies around the Rohingya crisis, healthcare emergency workers on the border in Calais. We've had students go on to pursue careers in public health, um, working in ministries of health, gone on to have careers in international aid organizations, in NGOs, and in a range of different institutions globally. So what Kings have been great at is that we've got a range of different experts, so everything from philosophers to epidemiologists to quantitative and qualitative researchers means that there's quite a diversity of people to help me. So there'll be a whole host of people that can give me their views and their expertise. The faculty was probably one of the best parts of Kings. The mentorship was fantastic. She provided tons of edits, tons of advice and was really great with helping me to think critically about the project. Really, it's a special department that we have. It's a bunch of great people and they're doing interesting interdisciplinary work. And that's wonderful. 